here's the next tool in the military's tool belt. This story absolutely I, I was so pissed last night when I discovered this. I was like, I was like so angry. This story made me so angry. America is about to be attacked by an army of low cost drones that renders our current military at a massive disadvantage. We are in peril. We are in peril, according to these military experts, unless we right now ramp up our own drone army to stop this, guys. This is true. This is true. I'm not making this up. I wish I was. But thanks to NBC News, we've identified just such a company that can make sure we're all protected. What am I talking about? So we are now on the verge of being attacked by kamikaze drones. This is a new weapon that brings power and peril to the U.S. military. Okay, we, but we, we have the power and the peril of the U.S. military. Understand, um, this does not mean these drones are going to attack us here in the United States. We're talking about they're going to attack our people over where we shouldn't be in the first place. Right, exactly. Well, you don't know that. It could have attacked people here. It could attack you in your living room. Yeah, like, well, this is coming, I don't want to. This is coming for you right now. I don't want to give too much credit to NBC News. The military invited them for a demonstration. No, that's my point, right? Like the military called NBC News and invited us to go and watch a defense contractor shoot off drones in the desert. Let me get my really nice news stand up. Why here. are they doing that? This is, I mean, come They're on. And let me just so tell cool. you, like, let me just remember, show you, you something. You guys remember during uh, Desert Storm when they used to have like the football players, like the Jets would sit there and spin in 3D models and be like, this is the F-16 Firecat. Right. I mean, that's exactly what happened. I mean, so if you look at if you look at uh, uh, I want to show you something on this news, just so you understand the news piece of this right now, which is uh, when you do a stand up in the news business, a stand up is like, OK, we're going to go out and shoot a news package. I'm a newsman. I'm a news reporter. And you'll notice if you ever watch like a two minute news piece, like we're going to go now to Clayton Morris, who's down at where the riots are happening right now. Clayton, what can you tell us? And he'll do a little stand up there with a microphone and then he will ex then he'll toss to a piece of video, right? He'll toss to a piece of video and then it'll be something and he'll maybe he'll be at a really dramatic moment. He's like, you can see these people behind me. That's a stand up. OK, he's doing a stand up with a. a you know, a microphone like stand up comedy. These people behind me have been out here all morning, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, in order to do that in this video piece with NBC News, they had to coordinate basically with the military industrial complex and the defense contractors to time this stand up that you're about to see so that they could launch this drone right at the right television moment. I want you to watch this. So I hope I explain if I let me know if in the chat I didn't explain this well enough, but hopefully this will make sense. Watch. Like that. First look at new killer drone. Are we supposed to hear it? Oh yeah, I killed the audio earlier and then I... How an operator... Watch this again here. Okay, here we go. ...and find it and kill it in... ...and launch miles away Here's the stand-up, watch. Okay. Once a target is identified, the switchblade can find it and kill it in minutes. Watching. <laughs> Aerovironment, the drone's man. Like perfect, right? That's like perfectly coordinated. That's a perfectly coordinated uh, um, stand up from the U.S. military and with NBC News in cahoots. So the NBC then r runs this whole piece about how, guess what, guys? And Grover's pissed about this too. We are at a moment right now where we are about to, like, we better prepare ourselves. We better build these drones because they are coming for us. And these terrorists are have, going to have their hands on these drones and they're going to be attacking us with these drones. And in they're going to get their country. hands on these. What? Yeah, in, in, in any other country. Like, they're just going to be bombing us indiscriminately now. But I always love these stories because, number one, we are the country that uses drones to kill other people. Like, at length, right? More than anybody else. But now we need to be worried about other countries sending drone, little drones that are going to be dropping bombs all over the United States. So we need to now spend billions more to protect against the drone army. You mean to tell me all of the sophisticated equipment that we have? We just increased your military budget by $40 billion, $45 I mean, billion. We, we have a space force, damn it. Yeah, exactly. We just built a new army in space. And we're worried about these little DJI Mavic drones that are going to drop missiles on my, you know, my grandmother's backyard. Like, this is the kind of crap that we have to deal with from the mainstream media. I mean, just look at this headline from NBC News. Kamikaze drones, a new weapon, brings power and peril to the U.S. military. I want to play for you, though, a soundbite from this interview. Oh, 
Natalie had to step out for a second. Um, had a phone call. I think it might have been from our kid's school. So that's why she stepped out. But look at the, this interview with they chose a military expert, probably a, mil, a military defense contractor who used to be in the military and part of the military industrial complex, who's now getting paid big time uh, for this entire thing. Watch what he has to say about these um, about these drones and how much of a how much uh, how in trouble we are um, if we don't stop these things right now. Levels the playing field between the U.S. and terrorist groups or rebel groups in a way that's certainly not good for what? the United States. Iranian-backed militias have used similar drones to attack said? American bases in yes. Iraq and to target weapons like these. Level, change the levels game. the playing field. field. Levels the playing field between the U.S. and terrorist groups or rebel groups. Yeah, because these little tiny the rebel States. groups with their with their wep with right. their guns and stuff are the weapons that we left. It's it's balancing that that power. Exactly. That is, oh my God. <laughs> At least it's cheaper, though. Militias have used similar drones to attack American bases in Iraq and to target the Iraqi prime minister. The U.S. is definitely vulnerable to drone attack today. Yeah, yeah. We're absolutely, you know, and look, <laughs> they probably coordinated this. Like, they got this expert, NBC, like, with the help of the military. We got this expert. We are in trouble. We are vulnerable but to drone attacks, guys. How Better be ready. How it, is it, though, that they're making it sound like we're a pro, we're, we're, um, uh, vulnerable here in the like they don't say that it, it's because we're over there like we're the the troops that are in the Middle East are the ones that are in danger not us if anyone. right they're gonna you, a drone has a 45 minute battery life um, like just a, one of the brand new DG Mavic 3 drones has a 45 minute battery life that's not flying across the Atlantic by the way and especially no, they, if it's carrying a missile it. on it they position the story as if it could happen like people are gonna be thinking oh my gosh they're gonna drop drones here yeah key prime minister the U.S. is definitely vulnerable to drone attack today. We need better defenses, and we need them urgently for U.S. troops overseas. And who can bring it? This company that we coordinated to do this interview with. New you wonder why people weapon, build a bunker. a new kind of risk, both abroad and at home. Ken Delanian, NBC News, Dugway Proving Ground, Utah. Thanks Did you hear what he said? Both abroad and at home. He ended that Both of, yeah. Yep. Well, they're saying that it costs just six thousand dollars per one of these little doodads uh, versus one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the Hellfire missile that we typically use now. So we're getting a bargain, guys. Oh, yeah. Bless you. Mm, well, bless maybe. Me. What does it cost for the drone pilot to go out there and, and fire that off? Right. Also, they say that they have a camera on it so that they can verify their target because they said, oops, we didn't mean to kill civilians earlier this year with our missile attack. So now this one's got a camera. We'll make double sure before we implode it on somebody. But uh, we think best practices are that it should go with an accompanying surveillance drone. So I don't know how much those are. But. Florence in the chat says, does the company that owns NBC make the drones? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but I just, when I saw this, I thought, my God. So now this is how the media scares you, right? You know, a new weapon brings power and peril to the U.S. Our military is in trouble. Ha I got an idea. How about you get the hell out of these countries? Where exactly. uh, like, a, like a little drone attack for that's flying over top of you because you're in a country you shouldn't even be in. How's that for an idea? How's that for an idea? Then you yeah. don't have like, to worry about like these like walking into things. somebody else's house and they put a gun in your face and you're like, hey, they've got a gun in my face and I'm in their house. I guess I need some kind of weapon to, you know, take care of yeah. them. Like, yeah. it makes no sense. So we got to watch out for kamikaze drones now. That's what, yeah, that's the new threat. This, you guys, this story was written so that you feel safer. Do you feel safer? Are you kidding me? You think that that's why this story was written. I think this story was written. It's pure propaganda. Yes, exactly. To make you feel like we need this in order to be safe. Right. I know. That's what. Uh, yeah, I guess you're OK. It's our next yes. boogeyman. Yes. We need this to feel safer. Like if right. you're if you're a soccer mom, like this is the type of person who, you know, that uh, George W. Bush won against uh, John Kerry in 2004, you know, running, which is to say, like, you know, we got into this war. You feel safer with me. You know, I'm going to get us out of this war. Totally. I'm going to keep you safe. And you know what? We need to beef up our military. And I don't want these drones attacking your son's soccer game. Okay? Me so neither. Vote for me. I'm George W. Bush, and I'll take care of you.